Hi girls, Marissa here. So today I'm going to be going over just a little bit of the flag anatomy so you guys can get acquainted with the flag and now. So all together, this is the flag. We all know that. So first of all, these are the butts. So the top and the bottom of the pole, these little guys are the butts. This is where we have our hand for right shoulder and whatnot, and they're just the ends of the pole to keep weights and anything else flying out. And then next we have the tape, which would be about here on your pole. I don't have a tape on this one. Should have put one on, but I didn't. So it's about for a six foot pole, it's a foot down the pole, so it's more about there. Sorry. Um, you guys don't have it on your pole yet, but you might later on. Who knows? Um, and then we've got our tab, which is where the pole, so this big long um, metal thing that you're holding on to is the pole. It's where the pole and the silk, this big long flowy thing, that, thing that makes it all look so pretty. So the tab is where this pole and the silk meet. That's basically all you need to know for flag anatomy, other than also the weight, which I'm not going to untape this, but is on the inside of the top bolt, and is silence, which is basically just toilet paper, tissue paper, or paper towel just wrapped around the bolt, and taped on, and the bolt goes inside the pole, it's taped over onto the pole, and then the butt is taped on. Everything is taped on on this pole. Your guys are, your silks are velcroed on, so you still have a tab, it's just not made with tape. But, um. Yeah, so quick review, butts, you've got your tape about a foot down the pole, you've got your tab, your pole, your silk, and all together, that makes it fall. Okay, there you go. And that is the flag anatomy, and if I could find them. So there you go, girls. Now you know the flag anatomy, and know what everything's called.